Good afternoon, Tidewater property owners. It's Brendan Payne, Century 21, the Harrelson Group here in uh, the Grand Strand. I appreciate you taking a couple minutes just to watch this quick video. Um, you obviously are getting the updates on the general market, but I wanted to dial down and get you some specific information on Tidewater um, because I've been very active in there recently. I've had a couple of homes sell just in the last, I think, 90 days or so, as well as a couple of residential lots. So there's good activity in there. I thought it'd be important for you to get an idea of what we can see coming up for 2013 in Tidewater. Um, I love the community. I love to help people um, try and determine what direction they're going to go. And if you're looking at buying or selling um, in there, I'd love to talk with you. So we'll get started. The first thing is no different than the market in general. Demand is increasing. We get more buyer calls. We're setting more appointments. So demand is definitely going up. Now part of that is because of, of the overall market in the time of the year, of course. We're going into a time of the year where we're going to have many, many people who are looking for vacation properties, second homes. Um, obviously that you know, dictates a lot of the residential um, sale, whether it's primary or secondary homes, but also people that are looking um, not only for income generating properties through the condo complexes that we have uh, in Tidewater, but also, believe it or not, people that are looking at saying, you know, it's going to be four to five years before I'm down there, but I want to start looking now because I think that's where I want to be. And so they're calling and, and talking about buying residential lots and, you know, buying them cash. Uh, there's not a lot of financing out there for, for residential lots right now. So most of the sales are cash. They buy them and they come down every once in a while and enjoy the amenities. And um, then at some point in the future, plan on building. So a good amount of demand, and we anticipate that will continue this year um, as people you know, become a little bit more comfortable with what their plans are going to be. Now the second about is Tidewater specifically. It's unique in the fact that like, there's a handful of other communities up in, uh, along the north end that are, that are similar to this, but buyers in, that are serious about buying in Tidewater are looking for a lifestyle. And you know that if you if you bought there, you at some point when you drove in, you thought this is where I want to be. I can see everything that I like above and beyond the sticks and the bricks of the home or the lot that you purchased or the condo. You looked at it and you saw the amenities, you saw the lifestyle, you saw the location, and said this is where I ultimately want to be. So buyers are more selective when they're looking in Tidewater just by design, okay? And the good news is, is that with that being more selective, I have found that typically the buyers that are looking in there or that already own in there, as a product of buyers in general in our market, they typically have a little bit higher net worth or a little bit more buying power. So what we see is across the board, many times the square footage prices, the home sale prices, the condo prices, and even the residential lot prices are holding a little bit higher value, and that's a great thing. Now, obviously, from 2005 till now, everything has, has adjusted downward in values, and that's a, just an unfortunate reality of the market. But the good news is, in many cases, because the buyers are looking for a specific product and they do have a little more buying power than somebody who is only shopping price, we've been able to sell some properties for a little bit higher than you could expect in the rest of the market. So that's a positive and luckily it's the community that you own in. So if you are thinking of selling, there's a possibility you may be able to get a little bit more now than you have been able to in the past um, within this market. Now, one of the things that we're also seeing that will impact the, the demand is that I anticipate that, and, and in fact we're already seeing some of it, but I anticipate this year that we will see a good upturn in the amount of building that's taking place within both sides. Okay, as far as residential building. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is obviously 
residential lot prices across the board from the north end to the south end have come down significantly and you can see that um, with where uh, within the oceanfront lots all the way back to inland lots in communities like Tidewater all through Myrtle Beach all through the south end residential lot prices have come down a lot so again you've got the ability where people can come in and find more value in what they are building so that will increase the other part of it is your opportunity as a resale owner or um, you know somebody that's saying well you know I've already got a home on my property how is increased building going to help me it just increases the competition not necessarily keep in mind your expectations and as an agent my expectations and how I market a property are, we're going to, are what is going to dictate the activity the home gets. I love the fact that there's people building in there because A, we've got more people that are coming in and looking and ex getting exposure to your property. Now there's a good portion of that community that is never going to want to go through the process of building. So now those are the people that we go after to put them into your home, get them in to show them something that's ready to go. You don't have to wait six to nine months and they can find exactly what they want. So again, it's all in your, in your expectations. And if you look at it and say, well, it's a downer because there's building, then it's probably going to end up being a downer for you. I look to try to find ways that we can take advantage of it and really capitalize on the extra people that are coming in here and push them into the homes that we're selling. Now, with all of this that's happening, there's one thing that many people overlook, and especially now, now that we're starting to feel like there's some positive things in the market, um, there's a lot of things that are looking up for 2013. I'm talking to a lot of people that are in the Northeast, in the Midwest, even on the West Coast, that are making plans, have had plans to move to the beach. And for the last four or five years have been up in the air. Well now, 2013 appears to be the year that a lot of people are going to make the decision. So you've got people that are in different parts of the country moving to Myrtle Beach, Grand Strand, North Myrtle Beach. you got people that are here in the Grand Strand that are moving other places and that activity breeds more activity because it gives people the confidence to make their move. Think about how many people come down here and buy a home and then they start talking to their friends back in Ohio or back in New Jersey or New York. And then all of a sudden, well, I mean, it's great. This is what I bought. We love it. We spend all the time down here. And then all of a sudden, you've got two or three more people that are looking. So that's what we're positioned for this year. And the activity will continue to be an upside along with the fact that it's a great community. And when people get down here and somebody really sells them on the lifestyle that they're getting, there's very few of them that want to say no anymore. So I hope this was helpful. I'm excited about a good year um, of really strong activity and people that are really looking for any type of information that I can help them out with. Give me a call, drop me an email, and whatever I can do to help you out, I'd love to do that. Thanks so much.